It's Thursday, campers. Moving down the road. Intel announced today it will buy software maker Wind River Systems for $884 million in an all-cash deal that will help the world's largest computer chip maker expand beyond the PC market. Intel said the purchase will benefit its processor and software offerings for embedded systems and mobile devices, which run the gauntlet from smartphones to networking equipment. Oil prices, which have rallied for three months, soared this week to their highest level since November. Crude now fetches nearly twice what it did in February, mostly on the expectation that our dismal U.S. economy could be stabilizing. However, experts say the market is filled with more enthusiasm than is warranted by the huge surplus of petroleum in the U.S., and still the prices rise. Wall Street's reaction? Here are the numbers. A parade of Chrysler dealers slated to lose their franchises took the stand today in the automaker's bankruptcy protection case, one choking back tears, as they touted their sales and service records and questioned how they were chosen for termination. It was unclear when U.S. Judge Arthur Gonzalez will rule on Chrysler's motion to cancel the dealership's franchise agreements or how this will affect Chrysler's plans to sever ties with them effective next Tuesday. Defense contractor General Dynamics said today it planned to buy Axis Technologies, a maker of surveillance and imaging systems, for $643 million. General Dynamics, which makes submarine ships and business jets, said the acquisition would help it pursue new markets and strengthen offerings in the market for systems that gather, monitor, and disseminate intelligence, expected to be a focus as the U.S. Defense Department reshapes priorities. For the Business Press, I'm Dave Kaufman. Join us again tomorrow for another Biz Minute.